good day to you all. You are welcome to today's lesson. Today, we shall be looking at logging of numbers less than one. What is logging? Logging of a number is the power in which the base can be raised to give the number. A logarithm is divided into two parts, which are integer and uh, matinza. So if you are asked to find the logarithm of a particular number, the first thing that should come to your mind is find the word integer first. Integer is that digit that we have before the decimal point. And to get integer, we do need four figure tables or logarithm tables. All what you need is to change that number to standard form. So whatever power that we have, digit that we have as a power of 10 is going to be our word integer. Mind you, integer can be positive or negative. It can be positive if the number you are trying to find the logarithm is greater than one. We are going to have a positive integer. Number greater than one, you know, it starts from one, 1.1, 1 1.2, .1, 1 and like that. So any number greater than one, your integer will always be positive. But if it is number less than one, to get your integer, your integer will only be more negative. Once you change to standard form, your integer will be negative. Because number less than one starts with zero point something. So when you are getting your integer for number less than one, you are going to have what? Negative. So to get your integer for number greater than one, like I said, you only change the number to standard form, then whatever DD that we have as a power of 10 is your integer, or easily count the number of digits before the decimal point. So whatever number that we have, whatever their number, minus one for me, that is what I'm saying, if the digit before the number, there are four digits, minus one for the four digits, that will be also a digit. So, the integer of that number will be what 10. If they are two digits before the decimal, the integer will just be what 1. Say that two digits minus 1, that is 1. That's how to get the integer of number greater than 1 easily. But for number less than 1, if you are to get the integer, you only count the number of zeros before the real number. Number of zeros before the real number. That is what you are going to count to get your integer for number less than one. Then, to not get matinza, like I've said, because I said they are divided into two, integer matinza. So to get your matinza, we use our four figure table. On that we call logarithm tables to get our matinza. So, for today, we are not looking at logarithm of number greater than one. We are looking at logarithm of what? number less than one. Like I said, number less than one, example, starting from 0 0.001, 0 0.1, 0 0.0000072. All these they are example of number less than one. So these are what you'll be finding their word logarithm. So how do we now find the logarithm of this? Let's start. Find the logarithm of 
of the following. Now, to get the logarithm of the this number that we have on the board, like I've said, the first thing you need to do is to find their integer first. So, and to get the integer, like I said, to get the integer of number less than one, you only count the number of zeros before the real number. And check this, we have how many zeros before the real number? Starting from the first one. That is one, two, three. This is going to give us bar three. If we change it to this in standard form to let's say 0 0.001, if we change it to standard form, we're going to have 1, 2, 3. That is 1 times 10 to the power minus 3. So this is our integer minus 3. But this make it short, easy. Just count the number of zeros before the real number. So now, into this one too, the, the number, the, 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 zero, the zero before the decimal point is just 1. So that will go about 1. Then the last one we have how many digits? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six zeros before the decimal point. That is bar six. So give me that. Anytime you want to get the integer of number less than one, only count the number of zeros before the real number. This is one, two, three, bar three. This is one zero. That is bar one. Then this one you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, six, zero, that's about six. So that means we are done with the integer. Now the next thing now is to find the material because you are not, it's not a complete integer. Logging this is combination of integer and what matiza. So we have already done the integer, it means the matiza. So to get the matiza, that is why we now need our word for figure table. Now we go to our logarithm of numbers. Now when you check this, this is one. The real number here is one. To unlock it, you only start with two digits first. The other one. So when you are seeing something like this, one, this one is the same thing that as what ten. Because you know whenever you have, uh, let's say two naira, you want to write two naira, you can leave it like this, or you put two point zero zero, like two naira zero comma. So this way you are seeing to so it's more or less like uh, it's the same thing as 0 0.0010 because log the one is down two digits. You don't have log for one a digit. Whenever you are seeing a digit like that, you just add the zero to make it one, to make it two digits. So this is gone 10. And what is log 10? Then you check your log in table. Log 10 for my room book here you are zero, let that is log 10 on that zero. Zero 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 zero. Log 10 on that zero you are. Zero, 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 zero. And that is the logarithm of the first one. Then the next one, the digit, the real number is around 13 uh, under 8 difference. Taking two digits first. Then the rest one one. 13 under 8 difference. You go to 13 under 8 here. I have 1399. 1, 3, 9, 9, 13 on that eight. Then difference 6 is um, 19. That is 19. Difference 6 is 19. And this is going to go 9.98 equal 10, 11. Then 4, 1, 4, 1, 10, 11. That is all about that. Then the next one to the digit here, that just same one to that 72 on that zero. 72 on that zero, go to your login on number. 72 on that zero is 8573. 8573. 8573. And these are the logarithm of this following. So please take note. You have to get the logarithm of number like that one. Like I said, forward get your integer by, by what? Can't be the number of zero before the real number. Then to get the martins, uh, then to use the following document, starting with two digits first. So then the remaining one, one. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to share to your friends and keep subscribing, following, comment, and share for more exciting videos. Bye-bye. See you next class.